Uh, so for number eight, we want to find um, the volume when we rotate the area between these curves across the x-axis. So let's begin uh, by drawing these curves. I'll put in my axis over here. So we'll begin um, with our y is equal to x squared divided by 4. So we are going to join the points 0. And then when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. And same thing for the negative side. So it's a parabola that, um, that opens up wide like so. This is our y is equal to x squared over 4. And now let's do our 5 minus x squared. So we begin at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We begin up here, and it'll cross the axis at root 5. Um, root 5 is about 2.2 something, so it'll be roughly here. So it goes like this, and then same thing on the other side. Yeah, so this is y is equal to... 5 minus x squared. Um, and now we can see that the area bounded between them is, is this whole region here. Now, before we do anything, let's find the, um, the points of intersection. So these two points. And to find them, we're going to set these uh, lines equal to each other. So we have that x squared over 4 is equal to... 5 minus x squared. So I'll bring everything over to one side and then join it. Um, so that is, let's see, plus x and then I join it. So 5x squared over 4 is equal to 5. Divide everything by 5. x squared uh, over 4 is equal to 1. Multiply it. And therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 2. So these blue points are at plus and minus 2. Um, so when we revolve this area about the, the x-axis, what is going to happen is that we are going to get a we are going to get a disk that looks something like this. We're going to add these disks, right? And what we what we want um, we want this area over here, and I'll, maybe I'll put it in a different color. We want this, we want this shaded region right here, right? So we can see that this shaded region is the bigger disk minus the smaller disk. And then we're going to sum all of these um, across the x-axis from negative 2 to 2. So the, uh, the bigger disk, since we know the area of a disk is, um, is pi r squared, right? This is our area. Let me, um, let me just erase this. So the area of the biggest, biggest disk is pi. Um, the radius, we can see that it's the height of the function, right? So pi of the biggest function, which is the one in green, 5 minus x squared squared, that is the bigger, uh, this we're going to call the outer radius, and then the inner radius is given by the smaller disk. So pi times x squared over 4 squared. This is the inner radius. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sum up twice from 0 to positive 2. And I just did this because the um, the area is symmetric, right, between these two curves. So instead of going from negative 2 to 2, I'm just going to put twice the area from 0 to 2. And then we're having the, uh, the outer radius, the area of the outer radius minus the inner radius. So when we remove it, we're going to get this um, donut-shaped donut kind, of, uh, kind of thing. So we have pi the outer radius of 5 minus x squared squared minus the inner radius minus pi times x squared over 4 and all of this squared and then times dx. 
So um, once we get it, let's put the pi outside and then uh, expand these expressions. So I'm going to have 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 2. And then when I expand this first one, I FOIL it. So that will give me x to the power of 4 um, minus 10x plus 25. And then minus x to the power of 4 over 16 and all of this times dx and then when I simplify it some more this gives me 2 pi integral from 0 to 2 x to the power of 4 minus 1 16th gives us 15 over 16 x to the power of 4 minus 10 x uh, oh 10 x squared can't forget this 10 x squared plus 25 and then times dx so we are ready to integrate this um, this is, let's see, this is 2 pi times um, 15 over 16x to the power of 5 over 5 minus 10x cubed over 3 plus 25x. And all of this evaluated from 0 to 2. So this is equal to 2 pi times, let's see, uh, if I put 2 to the power of 5 is 32 divided by 16 times 15 divided by 5. That gives us 2 pi times 6 minus 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Uh, so minus 80 over 3. And then plus 25 times 2 is plus 50. Um, we're not even going to evaluate the lower boundary because it's just putting in 0 and everything will cancel out. So when we... Uh, when we work this out, this is 2 times 6 minus 80 over 3, um, and then plus 50 times 2 pi. This gives us 176 pi over 3, uh, and I'm going to put cubic units because they don't specify, right? So that is what we get when we take the area between these two curves and we spin it around the x-axis. So we're going to um, sum up all these uh, thin donut-shaped things from 0 to 2, and then we're going to double that, um, double that area, right? And then the area of this donut shape is the area of the biggest, uh, the, the biggest disk minus the inner disk.